Michigan Magazine is kept on the road by our many Michigan friends. Cops and Donuts Bakery, downtown Clare, a winning combination. Cops and Donuts. Thunder Bay Resort, a destination for all seasons with special events and packages. Thunder Bay Resort in Hillman. Cops and Donuts Bakery, downtown Clare, what began as a crazy idea among nine police officers to purchase the historic Clare City Bakery quickly became an international phenomenon, carrying out a Michigan tradition with delicious donuts, pies, pastries, breads, original coffee, and more, plus a full menu at the new adjacent Traffic Stop Diner. Downtown Clare, a winning combination, Cops and Donuts. Planning your special day? Canyons Resort on beautiful Sage Lake can make it happen. Enjoy a beachfront wedding, everything in one location, food, beverage, lodging, and entertainment. Canyons handles everything from floral arrangements to the wedding cake. Call now to reserve your special day at Canyons. Summer 2014, it's a hot one, but with 11,000 lakes around us, some of those the world's largest, you're not far from the cool winds and brisk waters along sandy beaches. Perfect to refresh your spirit. If you get too hot, close your eyes a moment and reminisce about those frigid cold winters sure to come. That should get you up and about to enjoy our fabulous summers. Today on the show, we attend an annual event that gets the whole family into the sunshine. It's the West Branch Old Engine Show. There's plenty of rural history here from food to tractors. It's a growing event. Also on the show today, we start awarding our sweepstakes winners in our 25th anniversary summer vacation sweepstakes getaway giveaways. Stay tuned. That and more is coming up on this week's edition of Michigan Magazine. Remembering good times and great food, Frank and Lisa invite you to Tim Lizzie's in Bio for a blast back to the 50s and 60s when food was made from scratch, including home ground Angus burgers. A full menu of great food and good memories await you at the new Tim Lizzie's of Bio. The Michigan-made rebounding mailbox pole. Never again worry about the winter snowplow taking out your mailbox with this ingenious rebounding pole. Your mailbox takes a hit and keeps coming back year after year. Call now or visit their website, toughmailboxes.com. Old gas engines and antique tractors, a combination that for over 17 years has been drawing thousands of collectors to West Branch, Michigan, to an event that's been consistently growing in participants and spectators alike. Exactly what is it that's been drawing the crowds to not only the West Branch event, but to similar events throughout the country? Herm Klein of the sponsoring organization in West Branch, the Pioneer Power Antique Tractor and Gas Engine Club, explains. We share a common interest and a common hobby in the restoration of antique tractors and old gas engines. We like to trade parts, stories, educate the public about our hobby and this sort of thing. Uh, You've probably been here for one of the uh, beginning Yes, days. in fact, uh, I was good friends with Ed Kinch, who's now since deceased. Uh, he was one of the charter members of the club, and he had been to our home show, my home show, down near Flint, Michigan, in Ohio. And uh, he asked me to come up and give him a hand to announce the tractor parade and help him assist in the flea market, help him do things right. Well, I got to meet the guys up here and got to like them. I joined the club, and well, the rest is history. The tractors go back actually to the teens. Uh, there was an outfit by the name of Hart Bar in Charles City, Iowa, that actually had registered a trademark tractor. Before that, they were gas powered conveyances and this sort of thing. But uh, in the early teens is basically when they made the change from the steam engines, which were traction type engines that a lot of us have seen, and to the gas and kerosene burning tractors. And they've evolved to what we have today, the modern diesel powered tractors. I'll tell you, what's We're, the fascination about this? We like mechanical things. A lot of us worked as mechanics or worked with our hands all our life, and we like to restore this stuff and preserve it, save it from the scrap pile. Mm -hmm. And as a lot of you realize, scrap prices went up terrifically here in the last year or so. And a lot of this old equipment was sold for scrap. Mm -hmm. uh, it also happened during the Second World War. A lot of this stuff was obsolete then. In fact, the federal government condemned some of this stuff. Unless the farmer could prove 
that he had a need for it, or he could hide it, they would actually come and confiscate it to melt it down for war material. Really? And of course, these old timers didn't want to get rid of anything. Yeah. They kept their old horse drawing equipment clear up into the 60s and 70s, although they hadn't used it for years. But that's just, they can remember the days when they didn't have anything. So they kept what they had. Yeah. They never knew when they might need it. Today we had uh, 15 tractors from almost all owned by the same families or relatives of the family from Grayling, Michigan come down. They were promoting their show that's next month in August. Oh, wow. And so they, they drove them all through as a group together in the parade. And, uh, there's another event that I touched on very lightly. That's the Mackinac Bridge Run that goes about the second weekend in September. A bunch of guys got together and they petitioned the Michigan Highway Department to allow them one day to drive their farm tractors from Mackinac City over to St. Ignace and then drive through town and end at the casino. Well, the first year they had three or 400 tractors. Last year they had 700 and something. They were shooting for 1,000. Wow. It's a one-day only event. But it promotes the town, it promotes the hobby, and of course the motels are full, and of course every family has to make two or three trips across the bridge, yeah. so that's good for the <laughs> Michigan State Highway that's Department right. too. Right. Well, it's a family event. We have kids' games, we have good food, we have a huge flea market, we have our many tractors on display over there, plus we also have this parade that goes half to three quarters an hour, sometimes an hour. Mm -hmm. each day at 2 o'clock, so uh, there's something for everyone here. Yeah. In fact, we even have parts dealers here, so if people are looking to buy parts to restore antique engines or tractors, this is a good place to make the connections. Networking, it's called. Right. The, that's right. the new word for it, anyway. Yeah, yeah. To find parts, yeah. buy, sell, trade, or whatever. Mm -hmm. so, yeah, and you've got acres and acres of it here. Oh, yeah. yeah. We have 30-some uh, acres that's owned by the club, plus we uh, are allowed to use several more acres on the adjoining farms here. Amen to that. Yeah. Well, thanks, Herb, for sharing. Okay. Well, Jerry Langworthy, it's good to see you. It's been a long time. Since it has been a long time. I've been here I right really from the start. From the get-go, eh? Yeah, I was one of them, one of them that started this. Can you believe what you're seeing here today? I mean, this is quite the growth, isn't it? Yeah, it, uh, we never expected it to. Mm -hmm. we, always, we always figured it was going to be a small and, and uh, you know, yeah. and we never... It yeah. got, like it got out of control. Yeah, you, know? you were you didn't have any expectations like Oakley or Buckley no, or anything no, like that. Not, but you're yeah. on your way. I mean, the no. people are just keep coming back every year, yeah. don't they? Yeah. Yeah. You've got camping out here too, don't you? Yes. Okay. But, but, well, we're friendly with the people, you know, and we treat them right. Try to treat them right, and then they mm -hmm. come back because mm -hmm. they they enjoy going someplace and being able to, you know, bring their tractors and in their uh, exhibits and and. Uh, and Settle in for the weekend, yeah. and, and everybody knows everybody. Yeah, we started down down uh, down by Dam Road. There was a uh, uh, Griffin had some property yeah. down there, yeah. and uh, he let us use it. Uh -huh. And uh, we cleaned it all up, and we started, and, and it just started growing. And then we outgrew that, uh -huh. and we had to find someplace else. Yep, yep. there yep. we have people from all over. Mm -hmm. they're, they're all over from down. Down by Detroit, Monroe, Ohio, they, they mm -hmm. just come from all over, you mm -hmm. know. And uh, in fact, I think there's a guy, some people from Wisconsin here today. Wonderful. And, and uh, but, you know, it, it's it's the uh, the love of the old tractors and the love of the old gas engines, and mm -hmm. you know, and uh, people try to stay within their within what what they like, you know. Mm -hmm. And uh, when it started out, this is is. Uh, to keep a heritage is what it's all about, you know, mm -hmm. because there's uh, young people today, they don't know what it was like back in the days when they farmed and, mm -hmm. and with the old tractors and, and mm -hmm. uh, a lot of these gas engines, the farmers used them to run their wells and, uh, mm -hmm. That's and amazing. Things. You know, the kids I don't think realized, today's kids or youngsters don't realize that that tractor was a lifeblood to right. a family farm. Right, you know, you know today, and today, you take these big tractors they got, there's no small farm, no really no small mm -hmm. farm, you know. But you take a, take a guy who maybe had 140 acres, in fact I knew a guy that farmed 110 acres and he done it all with a little John Deere H in the equipment for it. You know, mm -hmm. He had a few cows, but he fed his family, took care of his family mm -hmm. with that, you know. Mm -hmm. You couldn't do that. Today. The kids don't stop and realize what it was. Even the, even the kids that are born and raised on the big farms, you know, they don't understand what the small farm is all right. about, you know, because uh, most of the big farms today, you know, they got all these big tractors, the radio controlled, the all electronic, and you couldn't take one of these tractors that they build today and say like, 
the third 1936 John Deere mm -hmm. in in, uh, in a year in the uh, years going on by with these electric ones, they, they'd never be able to restore one. Mm -hmm. you know? really? They could never find the components to do it because mm -hmm. it's all electronic and yeah, right. You know. But what's neat about this too is that the the people who do the collecting, you can might find parts here from some of the vendors, right? Right. That's yep. what's so neat about that's this. That's what thing. they they bring their parts and the guys that need them. And if they don't have them, if they can't find them, if you can find an old machinist, you'll build it. Yeah. You'll make it. Mm -hmm. That's you see these new these new ones they could never do that. But you've got quite the impressive crowd coming here to Yes we do. And and uh, and every year it gets big. Mm -hmm. This year I think it's down a little bit on the count of the weather. Sure. You know, and then the economy, like you said, the economy's down. Mm -hmm. But uh, you got the diehard. They're yeah. going to come anyway. Right. They, if they have to sell pop can, uh, right. turn in pop cans to get the money to come, you know, yeah. because that, they're diehard. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, and that's what makes this such a nice place. Also, you won't starve here. Got a lot of great food here, too, don't they? Well, yes, they do. <laughs> yes, they do. And, uh, I think some guys just come for the food. <laughs> well, it's a winning combination, food, fun, and living history. At the annual Pioneer Power Antique Tractor and Gas Engine Show each year in West Branch, Michigan. Michigan Magazine is being brought to you in part by Oscoda County's Timberland Quill Trail. Tour our Quill Trail next time you're in northeastern Lower Michigan. Cedar Valley Golf Club on Weaver Road, Cummins, Michigan. The beautiful woodworker shop located directly across the street from the Skyline Event Center. Detweiler Chalets of Fairview open all year. New recreational trails on man-made lakes. Cummins Market in downtown Cummins. The best little store in town. The Kirtland Insurance Agency, your independent agent in Lewiston and Mayo. Fairview Food Market, famous for their fresh and homed smoked meats, located on the corner in Fairview. Historic Mod Dealers of Luzerne, your hosts Mo and Bird Smith, invite you to enjoy good food, drink, and company. Vacation. Don't make the planning of it more than what you're trying to get away from. At NorthernMichiganCabinRentals.com, you can choose from over 2,500 cabins, cottages, lodges, resorts, lakefront vacation home rentals, and more. Whatever experience you're looking for, from rustic to luxury, and everything in between. No more rustling with telephone books. No more endless internet searches. Just one site with over 2,500 Northern Michigan destinations. NorthernMichiganCabinRentals.com Experience the beauty, artistry, and taste of Northern Michigan. Come to Amish Country Natural Products on Mount Tom Road, north of Mile, just off M33. From arts and crafts to fresh foods and vegetables, all natural, all local, all good. Stop by and get acquainted with Amish Country Natural Products. 1454 North Mount Tom Road, Mile.
it, it's a win-win situation for the students and the community in general. I mean, oh, bringing yeah. the kids together and uh, they've got something here that they can really be proud of, too. Oh, sure. The place is going to be absolutely gorgeous. Uh, the uh, a sideline to that, all the drywall that's been hung throughout this entire building was done by students last summer. Uh, with me and a couple other uh, adult volunteers. Uh, so those guys got a taste for a little bit of the construction trade relative to drywalling and taping and mudding and all that. And that was the entire building. These guys are doing the finishing touches with uh, the lockers itself. Um, the students are installing the lockers that they made out at My Fair Achieves, mm -hmm. and uh, they worked very hard on it. And this is this is the day that they're installing them, getting ready for the football season next year. Um, we've got 14 or 15 students in the program now, and uh, we've got kids from both Fairview and Mayo yes. coming together, aren't we? Yep, Fairview and Mayo. It's dual enrolled for Curtin College. Um, so. So Kirtland College and uh, Milo Fairview, the high schools, are all coming together to give them really a hands-on application of construction and woodworking, right? Yep, it's a vocational woodworking initiative um, that we worked out with um, both the schools, the Kirtland College, okay. and we came up with My Fair Achieves. It's actually the Economic Development Alliance um, okay. is the, um, the program that we run it through for a nonprofit. This community and the Economic Development Fund, they're doing amazing stuff around here. But another cool thing is they have a Kirtland instructor here, so these kids are also earning college credit. What? Direct college credit that they'll earn as part of this. So that's the cool part for me, is watching them leave high school already with some college credit. So it's great to see Kirtland and uh, the schools coming together, all with my fair, and it's just my something fair. that's that uh, I think it's time has come in yes. developing the community. Absolutely, and when this course started out in the fall, it's not ending up that way. There's been some amazing projects, and so the fact that they can build lockers for the high school at such a reduced cost, and the schools are on such tight budgets already, that's amazing. They're also got a bunch of cabinetry for a local church that's going in. They have just done some very unique projects, and that's, I mean, that's the cool thing. They're learning about community, community service, working together. You've got two different schools coming together and students working together. Um, there's so much more than earning college credit or learning some of these carpentry skills, and that's what's cool. Rose Valley Winery on Beachwood Road in Rose City. See what thousands are raving about, creating a delicious variety of award-winning Michigan wines. Stop by and taste for yourself. The taste of Michigan is yours at Rose Valley Winery. Hingeman Acres Canoe Livery and Resort on M33 just north of Mayo, catering to the outdoor enthusiasts. Cabins, canoes, kayaks, rafts, and more. Daytime or overnight trips along the world-famous Asabo River. A family getaway for over 75 years. Thanks for joining us this week as we travel the back roads on Michigan Magazine. Another congratulations to this week's winners in our Michigan Magazine 25th Anniversary Vacation Getaway Sweepstakes. If you've entered, stay tuned because we're still giving away the prizes throughout the summer and beyond. We'll let you know as we go along. So keep entering and keep watching for our phrase of the week. What you do then is take that phrase, send it to us via email or U.S. mail. But be sure and include your address and, most important of all, a phone number along with the phrase. We'll be announcing winners on our weekly show, so stay tuned. Okay, now here's this week's phrase. Michigan, the land of 11,000 lakes and streams. Now send it along via email to iWatchMichiganMagazine at gmail.com or mail it to Michigan Magazine TV Sweepstakes, P.O. Box 424, West Branch, Michigan, 48661. That's Michigan Magazine TV Sweepstakes, Box 424, West Branch, Michigan, 48661. Don't forget to include that phone number. That's very important. Then stay tuned and get ready to win. Well, that's all the time we've got for this edition. We hope you'll stop by next week for more off-the-beaten-path adventures. We hope you'll also make your own adventures in your neck of the woods. We'd love to hear about it. Have a great week, and we'll see you next week 
more adventures on Michigan Magazine. We'd like to thank all those that help keep Michigan Magazine on the road. Thunder Bay Resort, a destination for all seasons with special events and packages. Thunder Bay Resort in Hillman. Cops and Donuts Bakery, downtown Clare, a winning combination. Cops and Donuts. Clemex Sales and Service on Mapes Road, west of Mile, your complete recreational vehicle sales and service connection. Visit their beautiful showroom of new and pre-owned ATVs, lawnmowers, power equipment, snowmobiles, utility vehicles, and more. Clemex Sales and Service is also the home of the American-made Victory Motorcycle Line on display at Clemex on Mapes Road, Mile. Hale Hardware, your do it center in Hale, Michigan. Much more than a regular hardware store, providing everything you need for whatever your project is, along with a knowledgeable sales staff to get her done. Serving Northern Michigan since 1946. Hale Hardware, south of M65 at Ainsley in Hale. Shopping for that special person just got easier when you shop at Rose City Drug at 2640 North M33, just south of the Rose City City Limits. You'll find gifts for everyone on your list from 1 to 100. Shop online or in person at Rose City Drug, Rose City. Tin Lizzie's 50s and 60s Diner of Mayo, a Michigan dining destination. Cops and Donuts and the Traffic Stop Diner, open seven days a week and 24-7 during the summer. Amish Country Natural Products of Mayo, featuring area arts, crafts, food, and all natural products. Luzerne Hardware, downtown Luzerne, more than just a hardware. Hitchman Acres, Cabins and Canoes of Mayo. The Mayo Mud Bogs, July 5th and August the 30th. 